What's up, freaks? In the VIP, I'm here with my little partner in the back, Tyson. Say hi. Hi. And we're talking about your nutrition. This is a video I do probably on a monthly basis here in the VIP. It's just a refresher, a reminder of our yes and no list. How to, how to approach the yes and no list, basically. When it comes to our yes and no list, there's things on the no list like, as you see in the headlines, bananas, avocado, whatever, brown rice, other things like that that are on the no list. Now, again, I have to make this clear, and I will always like to break down to remind you and just refresh it. The no list is not no forever. All the no list means is know that it's not an optimal weight loss food. So you can decide whether or not you're going to mix that in, in what amounts, or maybe if you need to for a certain period of time, eliminate that stuff completely. It does not mean forever. It means maybe for right now, or maybe it means just being aware of it. That's why we call it educational eating. So know that the no list is just telling you know that it is not optimal for weight loss. And that the more you have of that stuff in the no list, the slower it will, your, your, rap, your results will not be as, as rapid as if you cut that stuff out. Now that's why it says, how dare you eat those bananas? Guess what? If you're killing it, you're going training, and busting your ass in your training session, an hour of just crazy all out, nonstop intensity. You're also active throughout the day. You're, you're doing stuff. It's the summertime, you're going to the beach. Guess what? If you had a, a, one scoop, tablespoon of like natural peanut butter, or one banana, or God forbid the end of the fucking world, you even had both of those in the same day. Guess what? If a banana is the worst thing you ate the entire week, that is a pretty damn good week. So realize that the, the no list, it doesn't mean the foods are evil. It doesn't mean you have to stay away from those foods forever. It just means that they're not going to be the most optimal options for losing weight. Is it saying they're unhealthy? No. Avocado is like a superfood. And when there's certain times of the year or certain stages or phases that I'm in myself even, and I know that we're talking about you and for your weight loss, but there are times when I'm looking to, to lean and cut weight, I'll go zero things on the no, the no list. But then there's times when I know I earned it, when I know I need it, that I'll have a fucking banana or I'll have some peanut butter. There were some days where I literally went to the store to go buy a banana. I stopped at a gas station. It's probably nasty, but I went and stopped at a gas station just with the intention of getting a banana because I knew that I needed that banana. Oh my God, it's on the no list. How dare I eat that banana? But I knew for the requirements I needed, the fuel I needed, the carbs that I needed, and even sometimes the freaking sugar that I needed to perform, to fuel myself, because you know we're eating for fuel. We're eating for performance. You're also eating for weight loss. You're eating not for the flavor, the taste, the enjoyment, and all this other stuff that you used to eat for, the, the loneliness. You would eat because you're alone. You eat because you're going at a party. You'll eat because you're sad, depressed. You'll also eat because you're happy. Those are our crutches. Those are using it as a Band-Aid. But if you're having a banana intentionally with the intentional purpose of knowing that you fucking need it and you earned it, you deserve it, the no list is not no forever. The no list might mean no for this meal, but it might not mean no for later in the day because I've been at the beach running around playing volleyball for two hours. You were at a soccer game. You were out on the field playing soccer in 100 degree weather. Fuck yeah, you could have a banana, especially if you know that your diet is locked in. Now... If you're going and eating that, eating things like shit food that you know you shouldn't be eating, you know the, the, the F no list, the cupcake, the pizza, and all this other stuff, because you're feeling down and depressed and you're saying you're an emotional eater, that is a different story. That shit needs to be avoided and cut out completely. If you're eating peanut butter and you can't control yourself and you're, you're eating a whole freaking jar, a whole container of it, that's where you need to cut that out completely. But it's like alcohol, right? Let's say you're eating, you're drinking alcohol once in a while, a moderate amount, because you're eating it because you're out with friends, you're having a good time, you're positive, you're motivated, and it's just a social enjoyment. But if you're drinking alcohol because you're using it to, to cover up and mask up whatever fucked up shit is going in your life, and because you're you're you already ate some foods you think you shouldn't have eaten, so now you're down about it. 
So you end up going to drink for that reason. That is a reason not to drink. That is a reason to cut. You need to not even drink in moderation. You need to cut it completely. You need to cut it freaking completely. But if your nutrition is locked in and you are having a drink here and there in a situation where it's like you're having just a good time, not getting trashed and wasted like, a, like an idiot, but you're just having a good time, having a healthy meal with a good group of people and you're having it with the intention of that I'm having this drink just as a quick little social almost reward, go and have your freaking drink. But if it's, I'm going home because I had a rough day, I need to go and drink away the pain, that's when you need to cut that shit and avoid it completely. There's no, there's no moderation in Band-Aids. You cannot have moderation in Band-Aids. It's moderation in rewards, moderation in fuel, moderation in having those we're not even gonna say cheat foods because we don't cheat that's why if you're having stuff in the no list it's not a freaking cheat we don't cheat is just a weakness cheating is a weakness it's a it's a horrible mindset to have in i'm gonna go have my cheat meal because i can't maintain my discipline fuck that have what you know you earned and you deserved and you need for your fuel so how dare you eat those bananas but if a banana is the worst thing you had for the week that's a pretty damn good week any questions comments or if it doesn't make sense, need more clarification, put it down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Tice, anything you want to add? No! Excuses! Very, very normal child. I don't know where he gets it from. I'll talk to you later. No excuses.